Today I'm going to do a review of a uh, Phantom 500. This is a older version, a uh, two stage, 10 tube with no preamp or no bilateral. Um this is a mono band also. It only has uh 10 meters in it. Um no band switch. Um it's an interesting design on this one because um got the insides over here. Um it has three relays in it and uh, like I said an interesting design that's just the common antenna relay and if you see the two wires going to it there the big coax one is actually the output of the um, six final tubes and that silver smaller one that goes over here to this relay this relay uh, goes to the um, high and low power switch on high you got the normal four tubes driving six tubes on it on low in this configuration not all of them have that but on low on this amplifier um, you are only working off the four driver tubes the four driver tubes are used and the um, output of the four driver tubes instead of pushing the other six go directly out through this relay through that line there and connects to the output of the six tubes that is not used in um, low and then out that relay to your coax in the back so the power switch turns on that relay whether it's off and on and that determines whether you're using the um, four driver tubes only or you have the full power at four driving six We've got another relay down here and that's the B plus relay or, or high voltage relay um, that relay only kicks in when you key down so the tubes are at rest with really no uh, high voltage or power going to them when you are not keyed down or in standby but when you key down that relay kicks in and takes the high voltage and puts it on top of the tubes down here you got somebody has recapped it this normally those caps are in the older ones before you recap it are a lot bigger but smaller uh, they make caps a lot smaller now than they used to but one thing is interesting to me is um, these two blue caps here I add it because normally um, from factory this amplifier doesn't have any bleed resistors at all um, so those caps are stayed charged for a very long time with no bleed actually when I was putting my meter on it um, the caps were charging up because they had nothing to pull them down that relay is not kicked in when it's off and uh, no bleed resistor so even the little bitty voltage from my meter was um, um, charging up these caps so I put a little bit of bleed in these resistors here a little bit of bleed voltage well in the um, high voltage um, with this amplifier having um, both the driver tubes used as outputs or driving the um, six final tubes it's got two sets of uh, tune and load for the drivers um, on the front you can see the um, three knobs there you got driver tune and you got tune and load and this um, variable cap here is also um, would be the load for um, going into the tube so when you're at full power or high the driver tubes are using that driver tune knob there and this internal one here um, see it's on top of the six tubes there that would be your tune and load when you're um, on high power and when you're on low power which is you're only using the um, four driver tubes going to output that tuning low right there or what you're using and that's the inside of it the tuning load and that coil there on the low side and then that's the coil on the high side that goes to the tube so two different sets of um, tank outputs or tank coils depending on whether you're on high or low to go to the driver and again that's the relay that determines um, which one you're using by the power switch there up on high is four driving six 
and on low it's just a four drivers the rest is just standard stuff AM SSB switch just um, puts the delay on the relay standby is kind of obvious and filament is just power on warming it up so I'm gonna turn it on and let it warm up for a little bit and uh, put it on standby and we got the little radio a uh, Browning Mark 3 AM I was using for a driver and while it's warming up we'll show what the radio's doing here on the 20 watt scale hello 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 that's on peak four driving swinging at about 12 14 hello 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 peak let's put it on average right quick hello hello yeah ford swinging about seven watts on average audio audio yeah we got to put it on the 2000 watt scale and um, turn the amp on and keep it on the low side so let's put it on 200 for the low and this is just the four driver tubes without the uh, six final tubes just 50 watts swinging to about 80 on uh, um, average and last we're going to put it on the high side and go on the 2000 watt scale there Hello. Did King about 200? Audio, audio. Talking about 350. Whistling a little over four. That's on average. And we're going to put it on peak right quick. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Audio. Close to six. About 575. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Audio and that's um, peak watts again. So that's gonna be it for the venerable Phantom 500. This one is just an old dual stage, two stage, four driving six. Audio, goodbye and happy new year. Out.